Hi, Paul. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. A pleasure to have you here on the red carpet. Well, red, white, blue carpet. Uh, <laughs> Ridley Scott, Joaquin Phoenix, the iconic Napoleon. What can people expect from this film? It's an absolute roller coaster, dynamic ride. Fantastic, deep, emotional, um, very illuminating, actually, in, into the human psyche. And, uh, and a great sort of history lesson, too. But more than anything, it's Joaquin's brilliant performance. And, uh, and watching a film by a, a master at this level um, is always such a thrill. He's the reason I became an actor. I saw his films. I lived in the middle of nowhere in Wales, and I saw Alien. I thought, oh, you can do that. You can do that. Um, and so I, I loved every moment of it. And tell us a little bit about your character. And, you know, how did you prepare to play it? Did you have to, like, go back and look in the history books? Is it all there in the yes. script for you? Yes, I did. I'm a bit of a, a nerd. So I did a lot of history research. My character is Talleyrand, who was the great brains behind Napoleon and survived everything. Remarkable story. The French, he had a club foot. The French called him the Diable Boiteau, the devil with a limp. He was so, um, he was really the first of the, what we take as normal now, modern politicians and spin doctors. He was conniving and a genius. Um, and we, he, Napoleon could never have done it without him, and he couldn't have done it without Napoleon. So they had a very, very symbiotic relationship. And watching this film, I just couldn't get over just how, you know, the production values, just the, the, the epic scale, the costumes. What was it like being on these sets? On the set was amazing, and the costumes uh, were done by a woman called Janty Yates, who's a genius in her own right. And we created a caliper boots for Talleyrand and that was great fun but the sets were wonderful wonderful design costume really really beautiful and um, no it was I, I for me I'm quite outdoorsy and uh, like watching a thousand horses come towards you and in uh, the, uh, on the foot uh, of Blenheim Palace steps was kind of amazing and it's a scale of movie that you rarely see now we rarely see it people put that much in. And these horse formations were to die for, like ballet. It was wonderful. And it's funny because you realize there's not actually been so many films actually delving into the character of Napoleon. And the way Joaquin Phoenix plays him is just so fascinating. There's so much subtlety and nuance and it's not glorified or you know, purely villainized either. What was it like, particularly the scenes you shared with him? With him, I adored him. I just, uh, I was terrified to meet him because I think he's the greatest actor in the world. And, um, and then we got on incredibly well, and we improvised a lot, and, and we had we had the film the the um, script was changing when as before we'd started, so we we had to get together, and um, um, and I, I just some of my happiest memories were just watching him work. He's just such a such a master, and learning from him, he teaches me so much, and I liked him very much as a person, very very much. He's a dear, sweet person. And ultimately, what do you hope people will take away from watching the film? I guess it can be an education for some, um, maybe a look at kind of the, you know, this ambition, this power, which we yeah. can see in modern day politicians as well. It's quite fascinating. It's a study in modern day politics in many words. Talleyrand and Napoleon were the first of this that we take as normal, modern politicians. Clever, scheming, unreliable, dishonest, awful, but they were the first. And this film is a brilliant study of the psyche of, of, of a politician, really. And I've just got to mention Saltburn, which I saw the other day. Oh, my God, what a wild ride. Just, a few I, words about that. I've literally gone off a plane an hour ago, and so I can see you, but I might not be seeing you. Uh, you look different tomorrow, uh, so it's all a bit of a blur. But Saltburn was a blast. I was filming them quite close together, and... Um, it was very different, you know, because a character doesn't say much and conveys himself in other ways. And I was a little bit nervous about that, but then I thought, and I had the best experience. And I, I'd say Ridley Scott and Emerald Fennell, it doesn't get much better than that. Two geniuses in one year. I think I can rest. Yeah. <laughs> Knocked out of the park. Well, it's such a pleasure to speak to you. Thanks so much. Enjoy the evening. Thank you.